guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts part two of the Spring Into Readingathon vlog. So stay tuned. So it is Tuesday, March 24th, which means there are six days of, yes, six days, the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th, yes. Six days left in the spring into reading a thon. And I currently only have three books left to read. Let me grab them. So, in these next six days, I need to read Between Shades of Grey by Rupta Cepedas and Lock Every Door by Riley Sagar. And if I'm being honest, by Emily Wimberly and Austin Segman Broca. So, these are my goals. I think I can do it. I need to finish a book every other day. I think I can do that. Also, one of my big goals is to start Animal Crossing today. Yeah, <laughs> I got it yesterday in the mail and I really wanted to play it yesterday, but I was too busy. So it's my goal to play some today. Also in the mail yesterday, and I didn't show this in part one, I got my Sips by Rainy Day Tea Box, which is perfect because yesterday and today it's been nothing but rainy and like thunder and yeah. So after I did my workout this morning and got all cleaned up, I changed into these super cozy PJs. My plan is to, um, I have to upload a video, but other than that, all I have to do today is read and play Animal Crossing. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. So I thought I would show you the Sips By Rainy Day Teas box. And I've actually got one steeping right here. So when you open it up, it looks like this. This is one of their, I guess, limited edition or specialty boxes or whatever. So this is the Rainy Day Tea Box, a little card that looks like that. It looks like Katniss on it. I love it. Which she really will try to sit in this box. This says, Dear Tea Lover, here are five of our favorite indoor activities for a rainy day. Give one a try and let us know how it went by sharing online with hashtag Sips by Rainy Day Teas. Create a gratitude list from the big things like loving family and friends to the small but heartwarming things like cuddles from your cat sit down and put together a gratitude list. Curl up with a book. This is the book I will be curling up with today, Between Shades of Grey. And hopefully I won't be like, I've heard a lot of people say that this is gonna make me cry. We'll see. Get crafty. Oh, so with curl up with a book, take time on a gloomy day to stay inside and get lost in a good book. You won't regret it. Get crafty. Whether it be knitting or drawing or anything in between, this is a perfect time to pour yourself a cuppa and create. Make an outdoor activity plan for sunnier days. When the sky is clear and the sun comes back out, make sure you're ready with a plan. Get details sorted out for a picnic, a hiking trip, or whatever your heart desires. That might be a good idea. We did a fun hike not that long ago, and I think... Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I believe. Marty's gonna be off. So if one of those days isn't raining, maybe we'll go for a hike. Slow down with a warm cup of tea. Forget your to-do list. Take this opportunity to slow down and do nothing, like my day today. Sip your tea slowly and simply be. With a love for tea, your friends at Sips By. And there's also, it says, looking to learn more about how to incorporate tea into your self-care routine. Visit sipsby.com forward slash blog for more rituals, meditations, and tea DIYs. And if you're interested in getting any of these boxes, I have a link and a discount code down below. And they're uh, made specifically for you, the way these... I'm not sure how much the specialty boxes like this are, but the regular monthly boxes you get like enough to make maybe 15 cups of tea, something like that, or more. And the boxes are $15 a month, but with my code you get uh, $5 off your first box. 
and you do a little quiz thing and they send you teas specifically to your tastes. So the ones that I typically get are like the sweet desserty kind of teas or the fruity teas. Those are my favorite. Though I think what comes in these specialty boxes is like the same for everybody. So this one says rainy day tea box and on the back it says made for rainy days whereas the normal monthly box it says the month here and made for Melanie. This says don't let clouds get you down the rainy day tea box is here to be your little dose of sunshine to make you happy when skies are gray. It's filled with curated teas to soothe your soul so relax and enjoy a warm cuppa while you're cozied up indoors. And I've actually already had one steeping and yeah it's been steeping long enough. Today I decided to go with the Earl Grey by Ahmed T and it comes in a little pack like this and in here we have it looks like it came with four packs so I only have three here because one's already in my cup. This is a high caffeine tea it says, Ahmed Tea is a British family business with a long tradition. They supply tea for the royal collection, including Buckingham Palace. Enjoy it, this posh, best-selling blend. And with them, you get 20% off plus free shipping with code SIPSBY20. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to go into what the rest of the teas are right now because I may show them other times when I'm actually having them. So this one actually said on the back, I wanted to try a tea with uh, like a milk or cream or something, but I wanted to actually make the tea and try it without anything first, just to see, you know, how it would taste to decide what I wanted to add. But this one actually says on the back of a little pack, um, a subtle blend of quality teas with the elegant fragrance of bergamot. A favorite English beverage usually served without milk. So I won't be adding milk to this one. But let me go ahead and try it. Oh, it's a very dark tea. Though, duh, it says it's a black tea. Okay, this is not bad. It's not like a super, like, harsh taste. Um... Which is one of the really good things I found about tea versus coffee. Like, I can't drink coffee without adding a bunch of stuff to it. And a lot of the teas I can drink just without adding anything. This one I might see about finding something to add to it to make it a little bit sweeter. Just because that is the kind of teas that I prefer but it's still not bad at all. Okay, so I think that's really it for now. I am going to go and get my video uploaded, get to reading, and then play some Animal Crossing. I'll talk to you later. So it is Wednesday, March 25th. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm getting a little bit of a late start today because I let Xander sleep in and then um, he ate and I had to call my mom because so, she wanted to know when he was up so she could wish him a happy birthday. So got all that done and now he's getting to his schoolwork. Um, yesterday I did manage to read at least half of Between Shades of Grey. I got to page 208 so I'm right here. A little over halfway actually. Uh, if I didn't tell you, this is based on um, a Lithuanian family, or families, I guess, but our main character is Lithuanian. And she and her family have been taken from their homes, and they're pretty much put in these, like, cattle car train compartments, and um, separated from their father, and being shipped to Siberia. This is set during World War II. And it's very harrowing, it's very emotional, and it's been a really good story. Like, it's hard to say good because it's like a terrible thing, but it's really well written and a really moving story. But yes, I've gotten halfway through that, and 
I got my video uploaded that I needed to upload and then after uh, dinner I pretty much spent six hours straight on Animal Crossing for the, the that was my first time playing Animal Crossing ever like any kind of Animal Crossing and I'm obsessed I was dreaming about it when I went to sleep last night <laughs> and I'm excited to get started with it again today however I have a lot that I need to do so it it may be pretty late before I get a chance to play so I need to finish this today to kind of keep on schedule I also first I'm going to work out then eat then shower do my hair do my makeup and I have a few videos to film and finish reading this before I can allow myself to play it's gonna be hard but that's motivation to get it all done and I'm hungry now so I really got to get my workout in so I will talk to you later if anybody's wondering what I use for uh, my workouts I use this app called Aptive um, it, it comes with the hip box that I get and uh, you tell it what your goals are and it kind of comes up with you tell it what your goals are and what how long you want to work out what equipment you have if you have any which I put I changed mine to say none since I'm having to work out at home and um, like how long you want to work out what days you want to work out all that stuff and it makes a plan for you and so I just did a strength full body this is what I have for today strength full body and then full body stretches Yesterday I had um, a, the 100 bridge challenge and a full body workout and a full body stretch. But tomorrow I will have uh, the 100 squat challenge and a recovery run, which is probably going to be like a walk and a lower body stretch. Um, if you're interested in the app, I think the app is like $15 a month by itself, but you get it free if you get the hitbox. I will link the hitbox down in the description if you're interested. <sighs> okay, I gotta go do my stretch, and then I gotta eat. So, uh, apparently I missed a package while I was showering and stuff. So I had to go and pick it up, but I have it now. Okay, I'm not showing anything. So let's open this up. This actually uh, came from Sweet Legs. This was, I ordered a bunch of leggings recently. So I thought I'd show you which leggings I ordered. Okay. This first one is like a, It looks like this. It's just got a very subtle, like gray and black diamonds. Let me take them out of the plastic. It'll be easier to show. Okay, so here's those. It kind of looks woven. And then these I thought would be cute come next. I mean, they're cute anyway, but. I thought they'd be cute next year come around Valentine's Day. They have like hearts on them. Very pretty. And it's hard to tell, but these hearts are like outlined in pink. Well, some of them are outlined in pink and some are outlined in gray. This one's like swirls of black and gray and like a mint green. And this one's like paint splatter. This is just a solid like hunter green emerald green color I love this one it's got like whales and stuff on it it's so cute and then this one's got like the passport stamps all over it love that this is another valentine's -y one it's got the little hearts with shari yes true love cute sweet rocket hugs kisses 
Looks like a little heart candies. I thought this one had a really interesting pattern. And then this one is just like a solid brown. And they always like throw in some other little things. So what's down in here? This time they threw in a sweet legs lanyard. <laughs> and I think this is just my receipt. But yeah, they had a sale. I don't know if the sale's still going on, but they had a sale with like 40% off and I couldn't pass that up. So I got me lots and lots of leggings. Cause I, I practically wear leggings every day. I mean, I wear them when I'm working out, but then, um, a lot of times I'll just wear them anyway because they're comfy and they're cute. And I love all of their little designs and stuff. But I did decide to get a couple of solid color ones because sometimes I want to wear like a cute shirt that doesn't necessarily match, you know, interesting patterns like these. So having some basic le color leggings are kind of good for that. Okay, now I need to go blow dry practically dry anyway but go blow dry my hair and do my makeup and all that good stuff and I will talk to you later okay so it is now a little after 8 was well, 8 19 uh, p.m. and I have completed uh, between shades of gray by Rupta Sepet yes Sepetus guys this book it hurt oh my gosh so I had put the audiobook on while I was <laughs> this was a mistake I put the audiobook on while I was doing my hair and makeup and everything and I had already put on like my foundation and my powder and my eyebrows and all that and uh I got to this one part and oh my gosh I was bawling I was oh, I was so glad I didn't have like mascara on at that point because I would have just had black streaks down my face I had to stop and then I had to retouch up my makeup before I could finish <laughs> because this book it hurt it hurt it hurt my heart oh my gosh okay so this follows I I think I told y'all about this well, last time I checked in so maybe I won't go into what it's all about nothing really has changed it's a very 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 moving story and yeah it, it'll make you cry for sure have tissues on hand and I, I have to say I'm gonna give it five stars it if a book can bring me just to that point it gets five stars from me very good book and then oh gosh I filmed my wheel of TBR I got a lot of books to read from that because there were books that I needed to try to fit into my wheel of TBR and couldn't fit so they had to be added to the 10 books from my wheel so I ended up having I think 13 books from that and then I looked at what I was going to do for owls and I'm doing the alchemist which requires all 12 um, owls and so I looked at my 13 books that I had from my wheel and I'm like okay let's get these to fit those 12 well <laughs> eight of those 15 or eight of those 13 managed to fit in the owls and then I had to add four more so I'm going to be reading a lot. 17 books. <laughs> I'm going to be reading 17 books. At least in April. Yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so like I said, it is now after 8. I think I'm done with everything I have to do today. I'm debating on whether I want to start reading. Do I want to start reading... Uh, I have Lock Every Door, 
and if I'm being honest, to read. To either start a read or play Animal Crossing. Hmm, what should I do? Maybe I'll do a little of both. I'll read a little and then I'll play some Animal Crossing. Uh, I'll let you know. It'll probably be tomorrow when I talk to you, especially if I start playing Animal Crossing. I'll be sucked in. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later. Good morning. 1.7 miles in 29 minutes. Gosh, look how red I am. It's hot outside today. I don't know what temperature is, but it's quite warm. And I probably needed sunblock. Hopefully this is just me being hot and not sunburned. <laughs> Got to stretch. So it is Friday, March 27th, and I didn't vlog anything yesterday because I was really, really, really busy. So I had to, after I did my workout and everything, I ended up having to go to the other house and do a lot of work over there because spring has sprung and weeds have grown and, uh, I needed to vacuum and stuff because people have tracked things in and out of the house and um, well we were supposed to close on that house this week and unfortunately the person that was buying our house lost their financing so we're starting over again we've now had two houses for a year it sucks but Hopefully, we'll find new buyers. <laughs> it really sucks. Um, but yeah, I was really busy doing stuff over there. And then I got home and I was absolutely exhausted. And, um, well, I got to get cleaned up first. But then I did do one of the teas. I looked and the only other uh, high caffeine tea was the original chai and I left the package. It's a loose leaf tea. I left the package in the kitchen. But that thing takes like a long time to make. <laughs> so you have to boil the water for like, or you have to get the water boiling and then you add in the chai and then let it simmer for 10 minutes and then you add in the milk and the sugar and then let it simmer another five minutes. I made enough for two cups so that I could have a cup and so could Marty. And I only drank just a little bit of it because it was like almost overly spicy or whatever and it was kind of like burning the back of my throat. Um, I don't know what spice it has in it that does that but uh the taste was good it just kind of was uncomfortable uh to my throat so i ended up letting marty have it and he liked it so he drank it all but i can tell you about it it says um well it's by chico chai and fair trade assam tea nutmeg cinnamon cardamom ginger pepper orange peel star anise and cloves and it's all gar all organic it says this aromatic tea is hand blended in small batches in chico california it can be steeped for a mild spiced tea or simmered on the stove top for a stronger brew oh well see on the package though it doesn't say anything about steeping it just gives the directions on how to do it on the stove top so that's what i did um also yesterday i had to edit and upload my wheel of tbr and that posted today but i made a mistake and there was something else that i had originally planned for today and i moved it to a different day on my calendar but i forgot to move it to a different day on the actual youtube studio so both videos posted at the same time today which kind of sucks because i had to go and like rearrange a bunch of things and i'm gonna have to do a whole other extra video but yeah, my day yesterday was fully consumed and I did manage to get on Animal Crossing for like 30 minutes, but that's it. And I did manage to get some reading done. So yesterday I got through chapter 
30 I believe of if I'm being honest and so far today it and right now it is like three o'clock I think yeah 3 30 I have finished this and if I'm being honest I freaking loved it I think I'd give this one five stars too I don't give a whole lot of books that don't like unless it makes me cry or something like that um a lot of especially like contemporary romance I don't typically give five stars but so far I've given both of their books five stars I really really love them and I'm really looking forward to the live show tomorrow so yay I've already got that all set up and sent everybody their links and everything and I can't wait and now for the rest of the day today I think I'm just going to play Animal Crossing. Yeah, I, I have it muted right now, but. So, in my library, we don't have a TV in here. Um, there is one in our little, like, den, living room area. Granted, the library was originally the living room. There go my dogs. But Marty installed this awesome projector in in here and it has like the drop down screen and um you can plug things in the back of the projector but granted the projector is attached to the ceiling so i have to climb up in this chair the switch has to sit up on top of my bookshelf because <laughs> it's a short cord but um yeah i get to play animal crossing on this giant projector screen which is pretty cool here let me turn it around so you can see so yeah, there is my uh, little Animal Crossing person. I also have a, a cat named Cat and a uh, ram who really is into exercise named Dom. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my day today because I have this is the first time I've actually gotten to play this game during the daytime too. There's butterflies everywhere. This is the first time I've seen butterflies on here. <laughs> so I'm gonna have fun and relax and I will probably try, let's see we have two other teas left. I, one's a medium caffeine and the other's caffeine free. So I think I'm going to try this copper cup turmeric latte mix it says uh, hot water or hot milk of choice uh, organic ingredients turmeric black pepper ginger vanilla cayenne coconut milk powder coconut sugar and pink salt sounds a little spicy but also sounds kind of sweet and i'm interested and this one's caffeine free it says as you stir in the warm milk of your choice the natural powers of turmeric and other ingredients in this latte mix combine to help you feel your absolute best for the rest of the day so yeah i think this is what i'm going to do um for this evening and i'll let you know what i think of it and i'll just talk to you guys later so it's now like a quarter after 11 and I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, but I did try the uh, turmeric latte by Copper Cup and mm, it, was, it was okay. I, I just tried a little bit and then I gave it to Marty and he wasn't a really big fan of it either. So I might well I probably will bring this to my mom's house because she might like it and I know her and my sister eat like all organic and stuff like that so I'll bring that along so all that's left now for me to try is this uh, Discover Joy from Tea Motions it's a loose leaf tea and this one it says teas for emotional well-being discover joy lemon vanilla green tea with ashwagandha lemongrass and oat straw to enhance mood and lift spirits 
blended with green and oolong tea, bright lemon, and sweet vanilla. So I will try this one tomorrow. This sounds more like something that would be like up my alley um, as far as teas go because like I said I like sweet, fruity, desserty type teas. So with the uh, lemon and the vanilla hopefully this will be good for me. And I'll go ahead and read what this one says. Uh, this one is medium caffeine so I'll probably have it in the morning like after my workout and everything. It says organic green robios, organic green tea, organic oolong tea, organic lemongrass, organic ginger. Oh, I'm not a fan of ginger. We'll see how that goes. Organic lemon myrtle, organic lemon verbena, organic ashwagandha, organic oat straw, and organic natural flavors. As you sit, find a quiet place and make a list of 10 things you are thankful for and discover joy in them. Carry the list with you for inspiration. And uh, that one has a 15% off code, Sips By. So I'm going to try that one tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be um, probably pretty busy. I don't know how much I'll film if I film anything because I'm going to get up and I'm going to do my workout and all of that and then get showered and blow dry my hair and do my makeup and all that stuff and then the live show is at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and I don't know I probably won't film anything between now like when I end this video and until like after the live show more than likely I did tonight to get on the seasonathon Twitter and I ran a few sprints and I started reading lock every door which is the last challenge the last book that I have for this readathon and I got 80 pages into it throughout the sprints so maybe a quarter maybe not quite a quarter of the way through so not bad hopefully sometime tomorrow I can maybe get another big chunk read so that I can finish this on Sunday because I don't really expect to finish it tomorrow but who knows and then of course I got lots and lots of Animal Crossing Ooh, my face is oily I gotta go wash it and then I gotta go to bed so I will talk to you Sometime tomorrow, probably. <laughs> Good night. So it is currently Sunday, March 29th, which means it is the end of the spring into reading a thon. It's like 1.37 in the afternoon. And I'm probably not going to try to add any more books in today because I just finished one and I've completed all of my challenges. So I thought I would tell you about what I just read. And um, end this vlog a little bit early, so maybe I can start editing it a little bit early. But Friday, I completed, if I'm being honest, and I don't think I really told you too much about it because uh, the plan was to be discussing it all on the live show on a Saturday, which we did, and I will link that up here if you want to go and check that out. We had a live show with the author, and then later we kind of had an after hours live show hangout session with just me, Clint, and Allie, and that was a lot of fun. And we discussed this there a little bit as well, and we discussed other things about the readathon, and we mostly just chatted a lot. But in the end, I gave this five stars. I really, really loved it. Cameron. <laughs> She starts out as a bitch and realizes there's a fine line between being completely honest and just being mean. And I really love her character arc as well as kind of like how she had, how, how she was essentially groomed to be the way that she was and how she's managed to now rise above it. It was really good. And then just a few minutes ago, I finished Lock Every Door by Riley Sagar, and I gave this 4.5 stars. It was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. 
but I didn't give it five stars because there were some things that I, I was able to predict pretty early on and that kind of made me think more of a four star but then there was a twist that happened towards the end that I didn't see coming and I was like okay I'll give it a little bit more it still wasn't five stars but it got 4.5 from me this is about a girl who essentially she's an orphan her sister went missing when she was 17 and then two years later her parents passed away so she's now alone in this world and then she gets laid off from her job comes home early with her belongings from her job to find her boyfriend having sex with somebody else so she's now lost her job lost her boyfriend lost her place to live and finds this unbelievably perfect opportunity to apartment sit in the bartholomew in new york which is this place this building that she has adored since she was a child because of a book that her and her sister would read together and they would imagine living in the Bartholomew. And now she has the opportunity to apartment sit there and in this grand apartment and get paid a thousand dollars a week. So she would get $12,000 over three months. And she is just blown away and so excited about, about this opportunity and the perfect chance to reset her life. But when she gets there, things are not as perfect as they seem. And very quickly, she is running for her life. And it's told in an interesting perspective where it actually starts out with her running for her life, pretty much. And then it goes back and to when she first found out about the place and did the interview and all that. And then it goes back and forth between the times and it was really good I really enjoyed it I highly recommend it and that completed all of my challenges so let's see for the spring cleaning read a book that's been collecting dust on your shelves I read Between Shades of Grey by Rupta Cepedas and I gave this five stars it had me crying a lot I didn't do that on camera, but oh my goodness, I was a mess, and ugh, I highly recommend this. Next was time for vacay, read a book with travel or vacation, and I read the Back to the Future graphic novel volume 2, Continuum, Continuum Conundrum, and I gave this five stars. I had a really good reading readathon, I guess. I had a lot of like four and five stars. This was a five star. I absolutely adore this graphic novel series and I will, I really look forward to continuing it. Next was Love is in the Air, read a romance or a book centered around friendship. And for that, I read The Princess Plan by Julia London. I can't remember exactly what I gave this. I want to say it was a 3.5 or maybe a 3.75. And, um, it's a historical romance so it's not necessarily part of like what I would read I was expecting it to be more modern day until I started reading it and it's set in like the 1800s so it wasn't my kind of book but I did still enjoy it and then for tiptoe through the tulips read a book with pink and or yellow on the cover I read lock every door which I just discussed uh, for Over the Rainbow, read a classic fairy tale or a retelling. I read my first ever manga, Wonderland Volume 1. This was weird. It was interesting. I will at least read the second one and see what I think. I can't remember what I rated this one either. Like, I want to say it was a 3.5 or a 3.75 as well. And then for Women's March read a book with a strong female character. I read Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss and I think I gave this 3.75. And then of course Spring Break Bash, read the group book if I'm being honest and I read this and gave this five stars. So I had a very very good 11 days of reading and 
I had so much fun in both of the live shows last night. I think that was probably our most successful live show with the author. We had no glitches for the first time, which was amazing. And uh, we're really looking forward to continuing to do this in the future and trying to continue with lining up authors for group reads. Our next season-a-thon will be the Summertime Reads Read-a-thon, which will be the entire month of July and will be summer-based, um, just like the spring one, spring-based. It'll be summer-based and it'll be a lot of fun. Don't know which our group, which book our group book will be yet or who our author will be. We haven't quite worked all that out, but we're really, really, really looking forward to it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!